in this lecture we will look into 3d plot and we'll look into waterfall before we can do that i have used xrd file if you don't have it i'll attach it to the resources in this lecture but this is a file that we already have so let's select a to d and go to plot and go to 3d and go to waterfall so this is a nice way that many people plot and maybe compare data points or different signals so you can see maybe if you check this peak it's lowered in here and it's not even visible in here if you check this peak it's kind of high if it's the same sample it's a little lower here and it's this way so it's a nice way of also representing many data points remember that we also did stack and we also can combine line we can also do multiple y-axis so many people do it this way and origin gives us the ability to do it as well you can edit all of these as we were as we've always done you can choose maybe 10 and and at 50 or maybe 40 and hit apply and you can do all these changes that we always do editing the axis the thickness uh, the major thicks and the minor thicks and you can also double click on on your plot come to plot properties you can edit as a dependent if you're editing everything the same or independent if you want to do it individually can come to line you can choose the thickness of the line you can add fill okay let's change the color let's make it blue you can add fill area let's choose inclusive add apply and you've added it so it's a nice way of also representing your data you can add drop lines to horizontal or vertical yeah, let's try vertical vertical is not showing check horizontal instead and because horizontal is this way and you wouldn't see it but vertical is this way you can go to patterns and and play around this as well change the fill color from black to maybe this and add patterns to them and there you go you can also edit your layer properties add background colors there's none but you can make it this way and you can choose all those and and edit all these planes so choose all the planes and maybe make it this it's, it's up to you so it's it's interesting what we can do here and customize our graph and maybe let's choose this yeah so you have a nice graph maybe there's not the best way to represent but have your axis you have this axis and you have your z and everything can be edited so you can really customize it for your presentations also if you come to plot you can go to 3d and go to waterfall you see this one is y color mapping so let's choose it what this does is it chooses the y-axis and uses colors to map from least to highest so you can choose the color map from here and you can see it it's at black but and it ends at gray that is the space above it but blue i see is the highest in our plot and red is probably the lowest so it just maps it 
let's zoom in a little bit to let's say let's say 17 should work 17 and hit ok so yeah and let's change this thickness to two three apply so yeah we see it more we see the effect more so you can see when you're comparing let's say this peak you can draw you know we studied how to add lines you can add a line through this section and you see that this peak is high so for your presentations you can use some of these approaches and be able to explain more and that's same you can also use color map for the other axis z it means this color will be different from this color from this color so all of these things can be done using origin let's see what we have plot 3d and yet you can change the color mapping of all those so in the last lecture we'll look at 3d bars and stack 3d so see you in the next lecture